an act of courage in support of the bravest of politicians. Thousands lined the streets of Moscow, defying the Kremlin and risking arrest to farewell Alexei Navalny. They called out his name, the name that President Putin refuses to mention. These mourners have no doubt who was responsible for Navalny's death, chanting, Putin is a murderer. Putin pizza. Putin pizza. And in tribute to the fallen opposition leader, yelled out, you were not afraid and we are not afraid. I was dreaming of him to become our president. Inside the church, the service was restricted to family and close friends. Supporters say it was cut short by authorities. After the service, Navalny's mother, Ludmila, was hugged by mourners who said, thank you for your son. As the coffin was taken to the hearse and then to the cemetery, flowers were thrown in tribute. Western diplomats, including Australia's ambassador to Moscow, John Gearing, paid their respects. In a statement, he said he was profoundly impacted and moved by the depth of grief shown by many thousands today at the funeral of Alexei Navalny. Alexei Navalny's wife, Yulia, is living in exile and could not attend the funeral. She released a tribute to her husband via social media thanking him for what she said was 26 years of absolute happiness. Navalny was laid to rest to a soundtrack of The Terminator 2 and Sinatra's My Way, a fitting tribute to a man who refused to buckle to Putin's tyranny. Steve Kinane, ABC News.